Okay, we're going to go for the low swing here. Going to be a bit aggressive. There's the low swing. So I've got to move in pretty heavily right here, but we've got to make sure that he is about to press his buttons, you see. If he presses his buttons... Nice, there's the low... Am I dead? What was that? What happened? Oh, it was a draw. Hello and welcome to Hellish Court. Now, this is a game about dueling. Yes, an actual game about dueling. And as you can see by the small description here, this is the demo, but uh, you can actually uh, take a look at the Steam Store page linked in the description, and there is a demo available for you to download for free. If you would prefer to buy the full game, it's just entered into early access, then it is currently 15% off as well. Anyway, Otherwise, you have a number of different things here. Obviously, the full game is going to feature many, many more pieces of content. However, just look at this. Every single thing in this is, I think, like motion captured or something like that, which I think is really insane. Also, there's physics simulation and all that stuff. And you can also add it to your Steam wishlist if you so desire. There's also an online mode as well as a local co-op mode well not co-op but it's you know fighting against each other it's a it is in essence a fighting game however well both players are using dueling attacks and fencing uh, is is a big thing as well in this now game pads are recommended unfortunately I do not have a game pad to hand so I will be playing with the keyboard which well <laughs> it's probably not the best idea However, most fighting games are digital input as it is, or analog input in this case, I think. Isn't that how it works? Uh, yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm getting mixed up about all that. But anyway, there's a how to play. There's a basic tutorial here, and you can see here, press four main buttons on the gamepad to attack. Obviously, I do not have the four main buttons, so what I will be doing is I will be pressing T, Y, G, and H. Those are the attack buttons for the keyboard. As you can see, default keyboard controls for player 1, WASD, TYGH, and then space is blade bind. I actually don't know what that is, but we're going to find out nevertheless. So let's just play a demo fight, shall we? Let's play a demo fight versus the CPU, because I, I think that most people that are into this game have already purchased it, so it probably won't be any people playing the demo. And otherwise, Characters are not yet complete. Some key mechanics like limping when the leg is wounded are yet to be yet to be implemented. But bear in mind that that's going to be in there. That's going to be in there. It's pretty crazy. And uh, Gideon still shares some animations with the two benchmark characters, and he still lacks tired mode. All right. So we have a number of a number of people that we can choose here. There's Gideon. As you can see, he's an old fellow. I might actually end up choosing him to be honest. But you have a number of different people, and uh, I guess we'll choose. Um, I guess we'll choose Mr. Gideon here, shall we? And we'll choose this guy to be against us. Okay, so I'm going to be playing versus passive, maneuverable, and aggressive AI in this video. Just so that I can show you the various changes that the AI goes through. If you are a single player kind of oriented person, then it's very important to show you all of the various AI difficulties. So we're going to be starting on passive, and we're going to be playing on the Mana House Arena. All right, so... If you do not attack, you will block all attacks. As you can see, look at this. I'm moving around right here. You can It's a 3D fighter more than a 2D fighter. So if you are uh, familiar with Tekken, then you'll more adequately know what's going on here. Anyway, this guy, oh, I moved in. I moved in and he, he sliced my arm. That was it. That's it. That's, that's it done. You see that? If you take more than, if you take a grievous wound, then you'll die pretty quickly. But if you, um, if you do, Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the stab. I'm gonna go for the stab here. Oh, maybe maybe I uh, no 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 no. There we go. There we go. Nice. Can we get him? No, we can't. Oh, he's getting us. He's getting us real bad. Okay, he's won two rounds for my zero. That is actually kind of embarrassing. Okay, wait. Okay, let's do this. Oh, he got me with a low sweep. He got me with a low sweep. So as you can see, the AI is really actually quite good. Hilariously enough, when I first played this, I won every single... <laughs> oh, that always happens to me. It always happens. We're going to play against the passive AI again. We're going to play on the empty arena this time, but I I'm wanting to redeem myself. I'm wanting to redeem myself quite a bit here. So if you don't press any buttons, any attack buttons, 
you might end up actually doing something in terms of, yeah, there we go, there we go. See, now that is what I'm looking for. Thank you very much, yes. So even the passive AI can be a pretty significant challenge, but obviously bear in mind, if you don't press any buttons, you're going to have the ability to block automatically. There is no blocking button. That's how they work in Tekken as well. I know in games like Street Fighter, for example, you're going to need to hold the back button or move back and crouch. And um, yeah, that's the kind of thing that will happen there. Now, we've got to be a bit careful. I've, I've taken damage already. Ow, we're dead. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Okay, I'm, I've got to figure out a good long range attack. So let me see here. Uh, let me see if I can. Let me, I'm going to try and move in. Nice. Oh, did you see that? Now that was a nice low swinging slash right there, and we took him down almost immediately. So that was that was pretty good. Not a flawless victory by any means, but pretty decent. Now I'm going to play as Mr. Jacek right here, and we're going to be playing against the same opponent, and we're going to be going for this time maneuverable AI, and we'll see how that goes. We're going to be playing on the manor house again. We're going to do like I think maybe like two rounds. No matter who wins, just do two rounds per AI and we'll see what happens. Okay, as you can see, this guy is doing much more. Whoa, okay, wow. That's that's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. Okay, I'm going to go for the low swing. Okay, we're going to go for the low swing here. Going to be a bit aggressive. There's the low swing. So I've got to move in pretty heavily right here, but we've got to make sure that he is about to press his buttons. You see, if he presses his buttons, nice. There's the low. Am I dead? What was that? What happened? Oh, it was a draw. It was a draw. Wow. That's actually kind of a... Oh, he slashed my face. Ow, that's got to hurt. That has got to hurt like no one's business, actually. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit sneaky here. I'm trying to be a little bit... Oh, he got me because I pressed the button, you see. Because I was actually stepping backwards at the exact same time that he swung. And that was obviously the reason why I took damage there. So once again, we'll play against the maneuverable AI. We'll play on the empty arena again. And then we'll see if I can maybe achieve a little bit here. Okay, so I'm going to wait for him to attack first this time. Oh, he's going for it. Look at that. He's got combos. Yeah, bear in mind, there are combos in this game. Um... These are, the, these, yeah, here they are. They're, they're apparently um, in Polish right now. I believe this is, uh, I believe this is Polish. I, d I don't know whether it is or not, but you can see here that if you had a gamepad, it would be a lot easier to see exactly what the combos are and everything, but that's not really that big a deal because you could technically uh, figure them out a little bit, but you could see the wide variety of different attacks that you can pull off here, and I would be able to pull them off quite nicely if I knew which which buttons were which so I, I think a training mode would be really nice unfortunately i don't seem to have access to one of those at least at the moment so i'm just going to have to rely on singular button presses oh nice there we go took him down that is what we like to see but this definitely has the ability to become a very very good fighting game it's already extremely polished and obviously if people are into ah is that a yeah, that's a that's a draw. <laughs> that is very cool. I like the slow motion impact that happens. You know, the, the little slow motion that that happens when. Um, oh, he went for the he went for the low. How dare you? How dare you, sir? You scoundrel. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No. We've got to be a bit really, really careful of that other uh, upper slash. If I were to go in, ow, he got around my guard right there. He got around my guard with a combo move. Unfortunately, as I say, I'm, I, I don't know those. I don't know those. So I might, I might actually just try and press a couple of buttons here and see whether, um, oh, we're apparently doing some grabs or whatever, but okay. Apparently that's it. That is indeed <laughs> two losses to the maneuverable AI and 1-1 one, one to the passive. So we're now gonna be playing as this guy and then we'll be playing against the old fellow and we're gonna be playing against aggressive AI this time. Gonna start on the manor house once again and we'll see how it is. All right, here we go. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I might try. Might try a little bit of a uh, little bit of strafing. Oh, nice, nice. Look at that. We actually slashed at the same time. Oh, slashed at the same time. Murdered both of us on the floor. Wow. Okay, yeah, those kinds of moments are really cool in my opinion. Okay, can I can I get maybe a bit more of that, please? I would like a bit more. Nice. There we go. A little bit of a slash. Nothing. Nothing too dramatic. There we go. Nice. Simple movements, simple movements, concentrating on a little bit of attack, a little bit more defense. It's always a good idea. Ow. Okay, I, I pressed a button there. Yes, I pressed a button there. I was actually attempting to move back there, but obviously he got me. He got me. All right, let's see. Okay, we don't want to be, uh, yeah, we do not want to be that close, you see, that's the thing. I'm, I'm going a little bit too close to the opponent, and that is resulting in him being able to murder me. Because he seems to have a much, much closer style. Yeah, as you can see right there, aggressive AI is obviously the highest level of AI. So they're going to be pretty good at being offensive. And we're going to play as the same guy once again with the same opponent and the same difficulty. We'll play on the empty arena once again. So this is definitely the kind of game I really like because generally I never used to get into... Wow. Wow. I didn't press anything there. I didn't press anything there. So there is a way to get, get past your opponent's block, which is actually kind of amazing. This guy, look at, look, look at how aggressive he's being right now. It's actually kind of crazy. Okay, there we go. He took me down in one gut slash right there. That is... Wow. That's very impressive. Okay, come on now. Here we go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that That is all she wrote. That is all she wrote. And I got absolutely massacred against the aggressive AI. So, if you would like to check out Hellish Court, there is a link in the description. And otherwise, I'm, I'm actually thinking that this is looking pretty good. I just wish I had a gamepad to hand, that would be super nice. There's obviously going to be a story as well, as you can see right here. And all controls are rebindable as well, if you wanted to do that. So if you wanted to, you could do that, and you can, yeah, as you can see right here, you can rebind them however you want for both players as well. So if you are a little bit concerned with what the current, you know, current, like, default key bindings are, then you can, of course, change them however you want, which is actually fantastic. Most games that um, are kind of like um, lesser known, shall we say, they're not going to have this feature, but they do in this, because you can tell that the, de the developers are very passionate about fighting games, passionate about fencing, I suppose, and, uh, well, you can check it out through the link in the description. This is not, by the way, any in any way sponsored. I literally just thought it looked like a really cool game, and I wanted to show it to you. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.